Well, hello. Welcome to the 1974 GMC Eleganza. Today we're taking a time travel trip here at Bucars. Lots of things to think about in the 70s and Bucars loves nostalgia and we love history to do with RVs. So we have this RV here to show uh, and to have some fun with today. And we're gonna show you this whole unit today and all the things that really have carried through from 1974 all the way to today, the same things that we have in RVs today. We're gonna to talk about the outside. We're gonna show you the amazing nostalgic 1970s vibe that we have on the outside of this, this motor home. Uh, Paulette and Walter, they bought it from Bucars originally. So they had the foresight to see how amazing this unit is. Uh, we have a spotlight on the top. Now we don't really have that kind of thing anymore, but really if I was buying a motor home, I would have them install something like that because it's just so cool looking. We've got an air horn up there as well. Uh, this GMC had a Oldsmobile Toronado engine. It is a V8 455. It was a monster of an engine and uh, they put it in a motor home. Uh, they ran from 1972 to 1978. There's 13,000 of them. A lot of them are still out there. There's all kinds of clubs for folks who love this motorhome. As you can see, it's got such amazing styling, kind of space age. There is an amazing uh, brochure that we just found in the motorhome that talks about how the U.S. just landed on the moon not long ago from this, from 1972. Uh, they landed in 1969. And this is kind of goes along with that whole space age thing. So the windows, as you can see, can you imagine having a windshield like this in a, in a vehicle now? Curved like this. And they have what we call ra uh, rolled windows. So the windows are curved to the shape of the body of the motorhome so that it really, really looks almost like an airplane or a space, uh, a, a space capsule, really. So here we are inside of this Eleganza, and I love the name because it really goes with the decor here. This crushed velvet red, I mean, who does this anymore? Nobody does this. This reminds me of, you know, my grandma's basement. This reminds me of the old house where you go down, there'd be paneling, there'd be shag carpet, there'd be the old couch that your brothers are like, laying on all the time and it has that smell in here from that era which is not a terrible thing it's just time and nostalgia and i love it um, as you can see the cockpit of the unit is is kind of raised from the rest of the unit the engine is in there so you've got that big huge tornado engine grumbling underneath you as you're driving along um, i love all of the buttons on the ceiling up there. It looks like a space station up there. Can you imagine those lights blinking and, and those fans running and you're just driving along like you own the world. Oh, there's a lot of things that have changed through time since 1974. Um, I was born in 72, so I know I have changed a lot since 1972. So this baby here, when it was new in 1974, was the height of technology, really. And you know, here's the manual. Uh, somebody took incredible care uh, to make sure that everything that went along with this motorhome is still with it. The dinette that I'm that I'm sitting in is still the same as today. It still goes down and makes into a bed, just like we do now in all kinds of trailers and motorhomes. So that really hasn't changed. We also have the vent up here in the ceiling. This is almost exactly the same as what we have now in all kinds of trailers and motorhomes. The same little fan, the same little little dial to uh, open that. We've also got an air conditioner right above Emily there. Um, same kind of thing. It, it almost looks exactly the same. We have an Onan uh, generator in this unit. We still use Onan generators. We have all of the uh, systems checks here. We have holding tanks, water tanks, the battery, the propane levels. We have battery disconnect. This is the same as what we have in motorhomes today. This little wine holder here, this wine glass holder and this whole accoutrement with all your bar needs. We have something like this in some of the higher end motorhomes still. So you can see that they were 
thinking about the same things that the people who, who like the finer things in life are still thinking about. However, there are some things that are quite different. And I'm going to show you one amazing thing here. We've got a blender. It's right, right in the, in the cabinetry here. You can, you can use a blender. There's also a, 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 a ice, an ice chipper that you can stick on there. Now, one of the greatest things here is this little microwave. Can you imagine in 1974 coming into a motor home and, and people walking in that door and going, what is that? Well, it's a microwave, of course. I remember getting our first microwave in 1977 and everybody was afraid of it at home. And my dad would tell us just, you know, step back when it's on. So the fact that this was in a motor home in 1974 is just hilarious. So also there are other things that are exactly the same as trailers and motorhomes today. We have a four burner propane stove here with a little oven. And look, you still can't make a turkey in there, right? You also have a Dometic fridge. This looks like the original fridge to me. We've been looking at it and thinking, this looks original, Royale? I mean, to go in an Eleganza, this is perfect. I have to read something. This is the brief history of the GMC motorhome we found in the motorhome here. This one line just kills me. It says, in the heady days after the United States landed a man on the moon, on the moon General Motor engineers set out to design the ultimate traveling machine. Drawing on the excitement of the times, this vehicle had to exemplify the cutting edge of vehicle design and construction. At the end of the night, after Walter and Paulette had their long days of glorious glamour in this motorhome, having their wine, sitting at the kitchen table, enjoying their friends at the campsite, they would come back here. This is where the bed is. This is just like a lot of motorhomes, a lot of trailers. This folds right out to a bed and this becomes the, uh, the beautiful boudoir. And what would a motorhome be without the facilities? There's also a washroom here. It's a wet bath. We have these in all kinds of units uh, today. So in 1974, after all this glamour in the day happened, it st you still had to clean it all up. And uh, you could do that because there's a central vac in this unit, much like many, many units have today. So we want to thank Walter and Paulette for being the custodians of such a, an amazing piece of history. And that now that Bucars owns this piece of history. You can come and look at it here at Bucars. It's not for sale. There's no number that can buy this kind of history.